Hyperdex Studio Mini and Hyperdex Studio 2 set up and testing. Uh, right now we'll be testing our Hyperdex uh, Studio 2 and Hyperdex Studio Mini together with our uh, Studio uh, TV Studio HD uh, video switcher. But first we need an SSD drive for uh, playback and storage. Right now we're using the Sandisk Stream SSD. Then we'll put it on slot one. Then we'll format the drive. To format, we need to go into the settings, then sc scroll into the SSD, enter, and choose the slot where you put the drive. Then you have two options, either you will use the HFS or the XFAT. Uh, right now, I'll be using the XFAT so that it can be uh, recognized by both Mac and Windows computers. So format the SSD. There you go. And then next, uh, we will uh, show you the layout of our Uh, cabling of all the all the equipments. Uh, to do that, we need to uh, connect all the equipments into the network switcher or uh, router. So here's the layout. Once you do that, we also need need to uh, physical cabling of all the equipments for playback. So in this particular setup, uh, all the video outputs of the switcher uh, of the Hyperdex goes into uh, the video input of the studio switcher. Then we will also do a physical cabling for the recording. So for the recording, all uh, a program output of our video switcher will go into the uh, video input of the Hyperdex. But right now there's only one program output, so we use a splitter so that we can distribute the uh, signal to the video. Uh, input. Mm -hmm. So, next thing that we will do is to configure the IP address for uh, the hyperdeck, and we will put it, enter it into the settings of the uh, video switcher. To look for the IP address of the Hyperdeck, just go to Hyperdeck Setup, then scroll into the Setup Settings, then Ethernet, then IP. There. In this partic particular example, uh, we are using the 192.168.10.108. So that is the, the same. That is the same IP address that we will enter into this uh, uh, into the setup of the switcher. The same goes with the other hyperdeck, which is using the 192.168.10.109. So once you enter that one, you just click connect, and once connected. Uh, you can see a check mark inside the green circle. Then, there you go. Uh, 
enter the IP address, and then just click connect, and then you can see the uh, check mark on inside the green circle. The next two uh, thing to uh, configure is the video standards of the switcher. Uh, this is very important because once you set the video standards, uh, make sure that all the sources that goes into the switcher have the same uh, video standards that is set uh, by the switcher. Right now we're using the 1080, 1080i 59.94 for this particular uh, setup. And then once it's done, you can check your uh, hyperdeck. It will reflect on the hyperdeck. Now it can uh, record the output of the switcher. 1080i, 59.94, and same goes with the other uh, hyperdeck. And then for playback, since uh, since we do a physical cabling of of the of the hyperdeck into the switcher. Uh, you also need to uh, configure that one inside the switcher. So go back to uh, switcher settings. Then go back to Hyperdeck, and then here in this particular uh, setup, we input the output of the Hyperdeck into the input 5 of the switcher. Here. And input 6 of the switcher. Once this is done, you can see here the two uh, input sources, but right now we just rename we just rename the two inputs five as D1 and D2, meaning deck one and deck two. So once uh, it's been configured, you can now control the recording of the deck through the switcher. like this one. I'll click the recording from the switcher, then you can see that the HyperDeck 2 also uh, recording the video output of the switcher. I can also control, like to stop the recording and play it back. So it's playing back the video. And I can st also stop the playback from the switcher. Uh, we did a recording, uh, so uh, some uh, recording of the hyperdex and we found out that not the hyperdex 2 this uh, have the, do not have an h 64 uh, codec support and also these are the video standards that uh, can be supported by uh, the two hyperdex. Uh, this is the this is a standard that you will enter in the switcher here. So unfortunately, the hyperdex uh, Studio HD does not support uh, 1080p, uh, 50 frames per second, and 1080p 59.94. So I think uh, we're good to go and everything is set. 
and now you can uh, do a live switching or uh, tape as live and record it to your hyperdeck. Thank you.